Yesterday was January 1st, 2024, and a bunch of new LEGO sets came out, including the new Ninjago wave. There was nine sets in this wave, and I've already covered each of them on my channel. However, there's one more LEGO set that came out on January 1st that's not branded as Ninjago, but might secretly be a Ninjago set. Now that's just me exaggerating. In all reality, this is either a reference or just a coincidence, but either way, this is a non-Ninjago set that's going to become a part of my Ninjago collection. Here's one of the builds of the Police and Muscle Car Chase set from LEGO City. And if you're a fan of Ninjago, you can see there's an aesthetic here that's immediately recognizable, because this to me reminds me a ton of the Serpentine from Season 1 of Ninjago. Of course, it uses a lime green, which was the main color for their vehicles, but it even has these snake scales printed on the sides. Obviously, the actual vehicles in those waves were a lot more over the top because they had tails and faces built in, but they did also use stickers with a very similar scale design. So to me at least, this vehicle absolutely reminds me of that. So if you have some old Serpentine figures, they fit in perfectly. Villain vehicles are something we don't get too often in Ninjago anymore, and it's a shame because they were so prominent when I was a kid, like it just showed you with the snake vehicles. So even something like this that's not meant for Ninjago, because it works for Ninjago so well, I want to have this as a part of my collection. In terms of the quality of the actual build, I mean, it's fine. It's a small LEGO City set, so it's nothing all too crazy. I will say it's a bit on the blockier side, it definitely could look better. But it's got everything you need for the car. You got headlights at the front, headlights at the back, and of course the wheels for it to roll around. And I love the trim of Magenta here too, especially on the wheels. It really helps the entire vehicle stand out. There's no license plate or anything, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it's not the biggest deal. And you can see there's quite a bit of room inside the car to fit a minifigure. So even though Lasha has like that whole thing on his head, he still fits in just fine. Even though the actual minifigure in this set who's supposed to drive this vehicle doesn't necessarily need that space. Now unfortunately, in terms of being an actual Ninjago Snake vehicle, this isn't perfect. The lime green works great and the scales work great, but everything else is a little bit off. Aside from the big things of you know not having a snake face at the front and not having a tail at the back, Back. The older snake vehicles used a lot of dark green and purple as well as a little bit of red on their builds, while this one's more black and magenta. So if you wanted to customize this to make it fit the snakes better, I'd say swap out the black parts for dark green and swap out the magenta for either red or purple. But to me, at least while this isn't perfect, it is close enough, and I think having a minifigure like Lasha driving the car doesn't feel out of place at all. So of course, while this isn't going to be for everybody, if you're a huge Ninjago fan, this is a set I'd consider adding to your collection. But wait, that's not the only potentially Ninjago related thing in this set. Again, I'm sure this is just a coincidence, it's not intentional, but we actually have a really good part for a specific Ninjago mock in this set. Because of course, the alternate build in the set is a police car, and the cops meant to be chasing down the criminal. But the cop minifigure actually includes a wanted poster for that criminal, and the criminal uses a very familiar hairpiece. So I think this printed wanted poster could work perfectly for Nia in Skybound. If you remember, of course, in the show in Skybound, the ninja were on the run, they were criminals, and at a certain point in the season, they get captured and they get sent to Cryptarium. But if you wanted to make a mock of, like, Ninjago City during a Skybound or something, you could have this wanted poster up to represent a wanted poster for Nia, which, I don't know, that's a small thing, but I think that's pretty cool, actually. It's a fun option to have, because in this print, that criminal looks close enough to Nia. There's nothing that makes it super obvious that it isn't her. So with that poster in the car for the criminals, I think this is a really neat set you could add to a Ninjago collection that, at the same time, isn't really all too necessary. And that's about it for the potentially Ninjago-related content in this set. However, of course, there is also one other build, this police car, and I do actually think this is the better of the two builds of this set. It's the one I'm less interested in because it's not related to Ninjago, but I have to say it is pretty well done. I especially love this, like, design on the side, the sort of, like, swoop up. That genuinely looks really cool for a relatively simple city build. I like these sticker pieces on the back, too. They add a nice bit of detail, and of course, we have the blue and red police lights both here and on the headlights. Once again, no license plate on either side of this thing, which is a little unfortunate, but it still looks fine without it. And you can see there's glass windshield pieces here, which you can take off and put the police minifigure in the set inside. So there's so that look honestly a pretty good build, not one I'm like crazy about, but I think it's well done. If you're a fan of City Police or you've just never had a police car before, this is only $20 for the entire set. So if you're interested, I mean, I think you'll like it. It's certainly a good build. And then of course we come to the minifigures in the set. First, there's a policeman in a high-vis vest. He has a helmet on, which is a little bit funny, but you can see he comes with that wanted poster, which we just looked at. Pretty generic Lego City face for him, and there's no alternate face, but there's his back torso print. And then the criminal I also think is actually really good. You of course get Nia's old hairpiece here, and that face print I think was introduced last year, and it's one of my favorites. I always love what generic Lego like City faces do have alternate faces. And then I could be wrong, but I believe this torso print's all new for this set, so it's really great to get that for cheap. In terms of accessories, she comes with like a little gemstone that she stole, as well as a hundred dollar bill, and you also get a second one in this set. So overall, I like this set. I think it was a great surprise as someone who likes collecting anything and everything Ninjago. This is the kind of thing I absolutely adore. Because while it is a Lego City set and not a Ninjago set, it fits in really well with the Ninjago collection. And whether this was an intentional reference back to 2012 Ninjago or it's just a coincidence, regardless, I think it's super cool that this set exists. So what I recommend 
and I mean, hey, if you like it, I do think it's good for the price. It retails for $20 in the US, which I don't think is bad at all. Both minifigures are pretty solid for the set, and the cars are simple because they are LEGO City cars, they're not like Speed Champions level or anything, but I have to say they are good for what they're trying to be. So if you have some old Ninjago Snake figures and are looking for something small to add to your collection, I mean, hey, this could be a good thing. Or if you just want to add some vehicles to a LEGO City, I think this is really good for that too. But as a Ninjago fan, of course, you guys know what I like the most about this set. But of course, those are just my thoughts, let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!